What makes a man? What is he without his own name? Does he whimper and fry? Or does he stand tall and fight? Could a man with no name do just the same and still stand tall with such courage? Or would he just whittle away in self-pity? How do you either represent who they were? With money, with legacy, or with family and friends? Today we gather to show how one man can help us determine such a question in our own lives. Standing here before my dear friend of 60 years, I realize what this all means now that both men, named and unnamed, are nothing without their best friend. For the man without a best friend didn't learn to live as true as the man did. All the laughs, the memories, and special moments that were shared can never truly be appreciated by the man who went without a best friend. From the long bike rides along the pond, to the endless hours of catch, even to the endless tales of camping in the backyard. The man with a best friend can forever fully enjoy all the moments shared amongst the people who helped create them and look back at those moments and smile even in the darkest hours. Today, we all share the special memories that we shared with John, the long walks, fishing off the bridge, and all the other adventures he dragged us on. And of course, all the bumps and bruises that came with that adventure. We stand here today in front of him to represent the type of man John was. Look around, look at what this man represented. Look at the lives he touched. Look at the ones he loved. As I wrote this eulogy last night, I realized that it isn't about the name written in the stone in some lonely graveyard, but the loved ones who crowd around your deathbed when it is all said and done. Thank you for all the memories, John. I'll be seeing you. Thank you.